boys. Kelly King. In the morning. Eric V. Nick V. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Nick V, Eric V, Baker Boys in the house. We have a special guest. Grab Beckham. Welcome. Here what we up? go. What up? What up? What up? Good morning. Trap Beckham. What up? What up? <laughs> that was lit. <laughs> that was lit. I'm ready. I'm ready for the day now. You've never been introduced like that, huh? No, ever. that was the best intro I've ever heard. That's what I'm life. talking about. <laughs> on, hey, on God, that was hard. Hey, man, thank you very yeah. much. Trap yeah. Beckham, tell us what's going on with Trap Beckham. What's new? What's popping? Everything is popping with Trap Beckham. The little booty still matter. It's still the birthday chick, but this year we're hitting it from the back and in the sundress the season. The sundress season. It's sundress season. All right, this is a third single that you put out here. Yeah. Um, where are you from? I don't I don't know too much about you. I want to know. I'm from Duval County, Florida. That's Jacksonville, Florida, yeah. home of the Jaguars. Okay. okay. Now, we got a chance, and uh, we are blessed to be able to live in Florida for a little while. Okay. Where, where y'all was at? We, uh, Miami. Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dade County. Yes, uh, Dade sure. County. I was in... Um, I was in the other county, uh, Broward County. Okay. But regardless, man, ooh, Florida is crazy sometimes. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's always crazy. A lot of news stories <laughs> that come from Florida are mm -hmm. bananas. I'm talking like alligators. Yeah. I'm talking drugs. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We talked about a story today about this guy that was stealing uh, pool floaties. No. And having sex with them. Yeah. yeah, instead of raping women. So, <laughs> what's, yeah, what's I mean, going on? Like, that's, that's better, right? Well, you it, know, yo. take my floaties. Don't take my lady. Yo, I, if you want floaties, man, we can get them all the floaties you want, man. Do you know how to swim, Trap? Yes. Okay. Uh, Do you know how to swim? Not great, but I can swim. But how old were you when you were taught? I was like 12. <laughs> I was old. You weren't, you weren't yeah. afraid to get into the water? No, I because I could stand in it, yeah, to kind of learn it, yeah. So it wasn't like that. All right. So saying? do you like uh, like sports, uh, like like water sports type stuff, like skiing or water jet skiing? No, no, I haven't. I haven't never been on the water, like okay. live on the water. No, I'm too scared. What are some of the misconceptions <laughs> about uh, Florida, the the state that you know, you love, and you live in? That everybody's crazy. <laughs> Everybody say everybody yeah. crazy for real. Yeah, I like, say, I say myself when the world is about to end, it will start in Florida. Right. I feel like the zombie apocalypse will start in Florida. Florida will be the first. To it go. will be the first. Like I mean, they had the salt zombies or whatever. Those people that were on the salt zombies. Oh yeah, that they, started. I mean, come on. They started that wave. <laughs> they started the wave. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, Florida. We doing, we getting there. We doing better. <laughs> <laughs> we working on Florida. it. Pray for Florida. Pray for Florida. <laughs> he said, "Pray for." Ain't Florida. nothing wrong with them. They just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Man, what do you, what scares you in the ocean? What, um, what, what kind of uh, animals or what kind of fish or whatever would scare you? Um, them. Stingrays. Ooh, and that's crazy, man. Yes. That's that's scary. Um, they got. They got everything. I, I've never seen a manatee, and they, I know they're harmless, but I would be scared. They're like, big. If a manatee just went swimming by me, right? I'd be scared. They're big as hell. Yeah, I'm scared of all like just sea animals for real. For all, real. all in general. If huh? it ain't chopped up and on the plate, I ain't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me about your name, Trap Beckham. How did you come up with this? Trap Beckham, man. I was uh, going by Young Trap Beckham for a long time. So like everybody on the East Coast in Jacksonville, they call me Young Trap still. Um, but when I got signed to Def Jam like three years ago, um, I couldn't go with that name anymore. It was already copywritten and whatnot. So mm. I had to figure out who I was going to be for. So for like a week, I was like, yo, I don't even know who I am right damn, now. Damn, damn. I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just drop the young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not young no more. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Trap we, Beckham. We have, we have enough youngs. We have enough littles. Right. We have right. enough bigs. Yep, Trap yep. Beckham is a different kind of... Uh, I was going to ask you about the soccer player, uh, Beckham. Yeah. Did he hit you up? Be like, hey, we're brothers now? David no, Beckham. No, David well, Beckham. They had to, he had to co-sign it. Oh, he did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, him and Victoria, they own every way to spell it. Wow. Yeah, so if you're not a Beckham in real life, you can't be a Beckham. Whoa. Yeah, so they had to co-sign it. So thank you, David and Victoria, for how did, how did allowing you, me to be a Beckham. How did you get them to do that? How did you, you know, how did you convince them? The powers that be, man. Hey, hey, hey. The powers that be. That's a blessing, man. Yes, sir. All right, tell us about your musical content. You know, you've had some, some records out in the past. You had Birthday B. Yep, you, yep. But you do have mixtapes way before you are signed to uh, Def Jam? Yeah, every year I drop a uh, tape on my birthday. So it's actually one coming up. It's ah. July 14th. It's called 714, the mixtape. So I started in 
since 2010 with 71410 and this year we're doing 71419. Mm. So like it's just a way to make sure I'm doing something every, every year, year on the year consistency. Yeah. yeah. And so when I look back at it it's, it's just amazing. That's what's up, man. Yep. So tell me how you found uh, people to believe in you I mean, going way back to 2010. Um, it was just, I was doing music in my house for a long time. So when I came out with my first single, I was like 17. And um, it, it got on a local radio station where I was at. And like, that's when I realized, like, yo. You got some. Yeah, I got, like, I knew I was already, like, this is what I love to do. I was like, you know, good. Like, I had groups and stuff in school. Like, we would rap and people would be like, oh, y'all dope or whatever. But like when I when I made a song and it got on the radio, I yeah. was like, "Oh, this is what I love." What now. do you What do you yeah. think is so uh, special uh, about you and your music that you know you got people paying attention to you, local radio stations, and it's really really tough to crack it yeah. off in any city yeah. in America, no matter where you're from. Sure. If you get your local radio station to bump your jams, yeah. that's that's like that's a big. huge thing. Yeah, it's because like. Just from that starting that ground zero to getting on the radio for the first time, that's a whole journey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a journey from just learning how to do everything and learning how to like just get it all together to sound good yeah. to get on the radio for the first time is it's crazy. Right. So this you think this just comes natural to you? you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that music comes natural to people like um, you don't have to be even do music for it to come natural to you. Yeah, like what, so it just come natural if you if it, if it makes sense and you understand good music. What turned you on about music at a young age? Um, just you know the beats, the vibes. One of my favorite songs growing up was uh, "Put Your Hands Where, where Your Eyes Can See." Busta. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Put your hands where my eyes can see. Well, you know, nice that Busta Rhymes. Like that. That I was like, yeah. This is what I want to do after I heard that. I got the video. You seen the video of that, right? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Eric. Crazy, dude. crazy video. So I, I Buster got, Rhyme is a legend. I got a question about fans, you know, because there's people that are fanatics yeah. for people like Beyonce, who has the Beehive. Rihanna yeah. has her own crew. Ariana has her whatever. Taylor Swift has her whatever. Yeah. What is the name? Do you have a, a crew, like, name for your fans out there? Are they yeah. Beckhams, Becca Knights? What are they? What they, are they called? It's the Moji Gang. The Moji Gang. Moji Gang. Hey. Uh, uh, what is the craziest thing a Moji Gang member has done at a show or after a show? <laughs> <laughs> boy, I gotta go into the uh, vault. Let me see, boy. Uh, uh, uh. uh. It be a lot of stuff. Like uh, my brother be hanging off rafters and stuff. Like yeah. there's something. Yeah, he. Yeah. Be, my brother Chimp. Like <laughs> he be crazy. I'm the cool one. I'm okay. the cool one, but he he really the rock star. He, he go crazy. He wild, huh? Yeah. Um. He gonna hang off stuff like that pole. Yeah. Right there. He would have hung off. He that. would just hung off it. It be. You know, my my fans and stuff be doing handstands. And one girl did a handstand, Ooh. and she pulled her pants down. Oh, okay. So really, she was pulling them up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She won the twerk contest. That's all she I got to say. She won the twerk contest. Yeah. So shout out to the whole Moji game. They always like, it's, it's the bulk of it is women. You know what I'm saying? They go crazy to all my songs. They twerk. Can Can you do something for the songs. Moji game right now over this? Oh, what? Get hey, yeah. look, Moji game, Moji game. Moji gang, look, hey, Moji gang, up in this thing. Who it is got a championship ring? Hey. Only beat I'm about to rap, no same. No. Who it is, I'm gonna come for everything. Hey, hey. and I'm ripping from the bill. Uh, and you know this shit trill. Hey. Shit real, who it is, what it is. Yeah, and Moji gang. Like, hey. Moji gang, hey. All right, all right. All right. Let me put him on the spot. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that, yeah. man. So here's what I want to do. I want to play the single real quick, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sundress is self-explanatory. Yeah. I, I, it was very descriptive, you know what I mean? Because I think everybody, every man can attest to falling in love with the appreciate sundress. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. the sundress. So. You got to appreciate the sundress, man. So shout out to sundress. Shout out to the ladies rocking them this season. Yes. And big shout out to Amara La Negra for getting uh, on this record yeah. with me, man. We you know. had Amara La Negra up here yeah. to a yeah. show like she's a couple months back. She's super dope. cool person. Super yeah. cool, man. She's got great energy. Super Right? When I met her, I was like, oh, I got to pipe it up, man. She, <laughs> she's like, yeah, hey, hey, hey. She's really so, about it. What? She's really about her, her stuff. So, man, shout out to Mar. And let's play this song right now. This is Sundress Season. It's available now for streaming. Trap Beckham is in the studio with the Baker Boys. Let's get it in. Florida, stand up. Come on. Moji Gang. Moji Gang. It's Sundress Season. Baker Boys in the studio. Trap Beckham is in the house with us. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's the latest single right there, Sundress Season. Yeah. For all the ladies out there rocking the Sundress, we appreciate that. That's a great summer record, bro. Thank, for yeah, real. Definitely. Really definitely dope. a vibe. It's a vibe. Definitely a vibe. All right. Hey, we want to check the weather real quick uh, in Florida. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I was going to say, you know, when we were in Florida, when we were living in Miami, they used to have these sayings. People would call us up about the weather because we used to do this, this like, song. Yeah. Uh, I want to know if, if Jacksonville has some crazy weather, right? Yeah, well, you know what? It's, it's pretty good weather, but when it rains, it rains. It rains. Yeah, it rains. But, but the, there's, there's one thing that it, Miami would get, and I want to know if... Um, Jacksonville would get it too. It's called isolated thunderstorms. Have you heard of that before? Yeah, just like boom, a it's storm just, and then go away. Yeah, it's just like just in a certain Quick. area, right? Oh yeah. All right, so we want to do our weather song for you for Jacksonville. What, what do you think the weather is in Jacksonville right now? Like, um, check it out. 80, 85. All right, so we're in the studio with Trap Beckham. Sunny. Weather is it's eighty five degrees, and I, I think I see a sign of isolated thunderstorms. Oh. Baby. Oh. Yeah, bro. Why y'all took me to Florida like that? <laughs> Yo, we had to, man. Y'all stupid. It, it was the craziest thing. People would call us up and like, yo, the weather, it looks like isolated thunderstorm. They want us to do the song. So it's crazy. So I thought you would enjoy it. Y'all got to drop an album, man. Y'all got to use records. Y'all got to drop an let's album. Do it. Let's, get, let's get in the studio, man. We know TJ. Let's do it. We know TJ. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. So you're, you look pretty young, but... Um, the movement and the music in Florida since you know, 86 and probably before that, but we got throw that D from Two Live Crew. crew. Yep. And then Mag it was Mr. DJ Mike, Mike, Magic Mike. Yeah. I mean, Magic Mike out there as well. I'm, I'm out of breath. Eric B, help me out. No, <laughs> what? But the booty bass music was huge, huge, huge. Right. So right. Uh, when you were in your youth, did, you, did any of that creep into your. Yeah, With yeah, the elders. Yeah. yeah um, and when you seen them doing the booty dancing course, and all that stuff, what were, your, what were your thoughts? And how old were you when you seen that stuff? You know, I came up during the age where BET Uncut was still lit. Oh. So like, so like on top of already knowing about Uncle Luke and Two Live Crew and just Sixty Nine Boys yeah. and all that stuff like that. Um, Nelly dropped the tip drill video. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yes. And that. Solidified it, but like <laughs> between Nelly and Tip Drill video and just like Yin Yang Twins and stuff like that, like yep. I like to keep the bass alive. Yeah, the party is definitely yeah. lit in Florida. It's always good for the good party music and stuff like that. Yeah. What else uh, do, do people not know about Florida or Jacksonville for that matter that people should know about your hometown? Um, it's very nice. You should come visit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Wait, are you a Jaguar fan? It's a beautiful city. Or, 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 you a Jaguar fan? At Definitely all? a Jaguar fan. Go Jags, man. Miles Jack wasn't down. Represent, man. They know what that means. Yeah. Miles Jack was not down. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tell me about the cultural differences in, in Jacksonville and in Florida in general. Because, like, like I said, we got a chance to spend some time out there. We got yeah. a lot of Haitians. I got a lot of Jamaicans out there. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of a sprinkle of everything in Jacksonville. You know, you got some whites, some blacks. Some Latinos, some Bosnians, a little bit of everything. Just so by your community, your community in general, where you're grown, you're raised, and you know you show love to still to this day. Yeah. What are some of the things you would like to see happen in the hometown of Jackson, Florida, that you might be able to help out later in the in the long run down the road? Um, I just want to see it become more of a uh, like kind of like a me like metropolitan area style type of place. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, the Baptist Church ran the city, so mm. it's not too much going on. Like I wish that. The party district was downtown. Like it's so spread out in the city. So um, I wish that there's more black millionaires mm -hmm. in the city, uh, especially young ones. Because um, if it is, we don't know them. Like they just connect you know game. Maybe you could be that connect. Yeah, you know that's I mean? exactly. Connect game. Yes, exactly. make it happen. Trap Beckham in the studio with the Baker yeah. Boys. People can uh, download. You can stream all of his uh, product right now. Is there gonna be? Well, you just said a mixtape, I guess, coming up here on your birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven fourteen, July fourteen next month. Get ready. Crazy project. Got some dope, dope features on there. Um, Speaking of features, what yeah. are you talking about? Who's gonna be on there with you? We got uh, Trina on there. Hey, the baddest be Tokyo Jets. Um, shout out to Anaya Lamise from H Town. Hey. She uh, hold it down. Um, shout out to my boy Fresher. He um, finna send me some over. Shout out to who else I got on there? Fat. I got a lot of people. Um, shout out to Sway the Remix God. 
he produced something real dope on there. Shout out to Kobe, shout out to Beast Mode, shout out to um, all the producers, man. I can't really think off the top of my head. Eric V, would you like to play a game show by any chance? Do you want to yeah. do it? Do you have all the questions or no? I always have the questions. Who else got the questions? Okay, I'm yeah. just saying, if let's, you want to do it. Let's do it. Hold on. We, we, got, we got a game show right here if you want to be part of it. You down, okay. to, you down to play a game real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all right, let's down. do it. This, this, this game is called have you, have you Ever. Here are the rules. All right. And now it's time for the new game show that's sweeping the nation. <laughs> With your host, Eric and Nick V, where they ask the questions people think about but are afraid to answer. But not here, it's no holds barred. So let's get playing your favorite new game show. Welcome to Have You Ever with Trap Beckham. We are the Baker Boys, Eric V and Nick V. I'm going to start off with a couple questions myself, Nick V. Go ahead, man. Have you ever dropped a piece of, the food, piece of food on the floor and picked it up and ate it? Yes. Yeah, I like no that. No doubt. Five-second uh, rule. Five-second five rule. rule. <laughs> have you ever parked illegally in a handicap zone? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever... Two-minute rule. Have you ever texted <laughs> text a different girl when you were with your girl? No. Nah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> nah. All right. Go have, ahead. You, have you ever drunk text and regretted it? Yes. What did you say? What did you say in the what drunk text? What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah. Go ahead, Nick. Right, have you ever had a one night stand you would like a redo on? Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever cheated on a test? Yes. <laughs> have you ever lied on an application? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I want to know what the lie was. What was the lie, bro? Um, you know, just like you. Do you have a car? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have transportation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. That's that. That's not a bad lie, yeah. though. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been arrested? Yes. Ooh. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? E oh wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, that's a no go. I can't really think of a teacher I, off the top of my head that was really. Like that, so okay. nah. Okay, have you ever been contacted by aliens? Wait, do a teacher do a teacher count? <laughs> do a teacher count if it's like a teacher you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it could be. Oh yeah, 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 a teacher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like have, like not like my teacher, but not, like my teacher. It could right. be any yeah, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. teacher yeah. Like a peer. Yeah, for sure. Have you That's ever cried like in teachers. a movie? Have you ever cried in a movie? And what one was it? A uh, Lion King. Yeah. Lion King. You cried the Lion King. Come on, man. Mufasa wrong, man. <laughs> He's wrong. Damn. Bro. All right. And finally, have you ever been in a talent contest? Yes. Sixth grade. Yeah. Sixth Wait. grade, man. I did the song. I did the whole beat. Like it was my first song ever. Okay. Um, I recorded it off a tape recorder and a. I had a pencil and that's how I did the beat. Like I love it. Wait, can you and recreate that right now? By any chance? It was like I'm rolling deep on your block, like yeah. I'm on the deep on your block, like yeah. yeah. And 22 is on the drop, like whoa. And 22 is on the drop, like whoa. It was like that. It was, that, yeah. was that was dope. That was dope. I didn't know. That was I, better than some songs we have on the radio right I now. I had man. 22s <laughs> on the drop in sixth grade. In sixth grade. In sixth grade, man. <laughs> I That's love it. Up. I love it. It's very, very lit. It's uh, appreciated of you coming in the early in the morning time. Pleasure to meet you for the first time. We're good friends with your, uh, your TJ. guy, TJ, yes. for a very long, long time. And uh, you're in good hands. You're hanging out with this brother right here. Just pay attention to him. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and before we leave, uh, we want to send you off with something positive, if you can. Yeah, okay. so this is the portion of the show. Don't get, don't get it wrong. It, it sounds wrong, but it's right. Okay. okay. The name of this is called Mouth Love. Mouth love. Yeah, mouth love. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> DJ's mouth, like, what? Mouth love. Mouth love. All right. These are positive words <laughs> from Nick V to us. So we're, we're, it's like we're walking into a yoga class, okay. but for your mouth. Did that help at all? It didn't help, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> all right, Nick, go ahead and lead us. Lead us, lead all us. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a cloak of positivity. So when you leave here to leave this studio here today, you're always going to be ready to go no matter what happens to you this weekend. You came to the Baker Boys, so you are straight. Uh, I want you to repeat after me. I want everybody to take a deep breath Follow in, Follow along. Please. Follow along. One breath in. Hold it. Push it out. One more time. Deep breath in. Push it out. And all you have to do is repeat after me. Here we go. Okay. Trap back in the studio with the Baker Boys. This is Mouth Love. Repeat this. I am growth. I am growth. I am abundance. I am abundance. I am energy. I am, I am energy. I am well. I am well. And finally, I came through dripping. I came through dripping. You are now in Mouth Love. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I like
like that. I need one of them every day. <laughs> every day, that'll Nick, get me going Nick, in the Nick, morning. Nick oh, B's 1 800 Mouth Love. Yeah. Call him. <laughs> you know what? Uh, ain't nothing wrong with mouth love. Yeah. I think more people should have. Get some mouth love. Hey, how can people yeah. find, find yes. you? Follow you. Yeah. Follow me on everything at Trap Beckham. T R A P B E C K H A M on everything. Um, I'm going to show love back, so definitely DM me, follow me, whatever. Man, I, I want to hear the 22 song again, man. I roll it deep on the block like, yeah. yeah. I'm rolling deep on the block like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 22 is on the drop like, oh. oh. 22 is on the drop like, whoa. It was just like that, that man. Was dope. It was crazy. You gotta record that, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I might. That's a hook. It is. Hey, come back next time, brother. You're always yeah. welcome. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you. You're very y'all, welcome. y'all always welcome yeah. back to Florida. <laughs> Thank y'all. Radio, how it's supposed to be heard. It's the Baker Boys Show. What's going on? This is Drippin' Every day. Four.